Hi guys. It is a cold midwinter day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Thursday, April 6, 2023, where it is almost 50 degrees colder than it was on April 3rd, and it is 14 degrees colder in the great state of Texas than in Ithaca, New York, I notice. Uh, 14 degrees colder. Yes, the joke is on me and anybody uh, looking at the weather forecast for New York next week. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to appreciate the humor, but anyway, we're not here to talk about whiplash weather. Uh, <clears throat> going to, I've been, I've had this uh, rant from good old uh, uh, medium.com, imagine that, this actually came out a couple of days ago, I uh, think I have had uh, at least one chronicle of the collapse from this fellow whose name I can't pronounce, out of Sri Lanka, calling himself Indica, Indica, and it's a picture of this little man wearing a mask. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> so the masked man, Indica, uh, what is on his mind behind his mask is the stupidity of progress we're making asteroids out of ourselves. So take it away, Indica, and sum up, it will sum up humans pretty much <clears throat> making asteroids out of ourselves. We're going to have a short history of non progress here. There is no evolutionary concept of progress. There is just adaptation. A crocodile is no more progressed than a bee, nor has a human made more progress than a dinosaur. They're just adapted to different environments. As Charles Darwin did not say, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives, it is the one that is most adaptable to change. <clears throat> Humans have been able to sustain the illusion of progress only because things have not changed that much. We think the ground is solid beneath our feet, and it actually isn't. In the long run, it's literally shifting the enlightenment of some dusty old white dudes gave them the illusion that the physical laws of the universe were knowable and could be manipulated at will. They missed the actual enlightenment of the Buddha, where he saw that all things are impermanent and the only constant is change. Humans have A, lived in a relatively stable environment, and B, found a one-time inheritance of fossil fuels from our ancestors. Blithely burning the latter has obliterated the former, destroying the stable environment we measure all progress against. We are like children that found their father's gun. <clears throat> it's fun for a while, but rarely ends well. This isn't even the first time that life has completely screwed up the thermostat. The photosynthetic ancestors we are blithely burning did it with their oxygen emissions 2.3 billion years ago. We are simply reversing the process and thinking we are gods, the most 
progressed creature ever. We're not. We are just tomb robbers. Yes, we are. We're just tomb robbers digging up and despoiling ancestors who were much more powerful than us. Because humans arbitrarily mark history into a false waking, the enlightenment, and sleeping, everything else, <clears throat> we missed the point entirely. Cars go fast! Wow! While the road crumbles beneath our feet. Because we divide history into the real stuff, history, and whatever else, prehistory, we lose the plot. We are so proud of our advancing technology, just as dinosaurs would have been so proud of their plumage. And it is all ultimately irrelevant. Because we divide understanding up into isolated subjects, economics, biology, we make rapid progress in the things we measure and lose the things we do not. Like the very climate we are adapted to, and so we lose it all. As the physicist Tom Murphy says in his inestimable textbook, Energy and Human Ambitions, on a finite planet, quote, <clears throat> take it away, Tom Murphy, the delirious ascent in energy and resource use witnessed over the past few centuries has been accomplished via the rapid accelerating expenditure of a one-time inheritance of natural resources. A brief and singularly remarkable era in the long saga of human history. It, it has produced a dangerously distorted impression of what normal looks like on this planet. The fireworks show on display today is spectacular fun and inspirational but also exceptionally unusual. Just as a meteorologist somehow born and trained within a 15-minute fireworks display likely cannot make useful predictions about weather and sky conditions over the next week, we are ill-equipped to intuitively understand what comes after the present phase. Close quote. Thank you, Tom Murphy. <clears throat> the broad idiocy of the day is that burning things does not make it hot. Killing things doesn't make them dead, and that we can just progress away from all consequences all the way to Mars. We are idiots. We think we are the most advanced species ever, even much more advanced than those dumb bugs and dinosaurs, birds, and yet we screw ourselves in a few hundred years while they have been happily reproducing for millions. As Shakespeare said, you know, talking about humans, life, life's but a wake, I can't believe I'm already flubbing Shakespeare, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Thank you, Bill Shakespeare. <clears throat> I will repeat it again. Evolutionary progress 
does not exist. There is no concept of straight line progress on an XY graph because the lines keep moving. If, like anaerobes, you adapt to a low oxygen world and your aerobic cousins start farting out massive amounts of oxygen, then all of your billion years of dominance go to shit. These emissions almost killed aerobic life. <clears throat> also, freezing the Earth down to the equator, and it took millions of years for them to figure out how to balance the thermostat, to adapt. That is the point of survival, not growing forever, which is cancer. The Dawkinsian delusion of the day is that humans have intelligence and that this is the same thing as adaptiveness. Whatever our problems are, we can build something and work our way through them. This is a very cartoonish Paw Patrol view of the world. The common Yuval Noah Hariri, you know, from the author of the book Sapiens View of the World, is that colonialism was a bit of an oopsie, but who cares? We got science and progress, and we are headed in the right direction. This is part of the hubris baked into science itself, the idea that knowledge is understanding, and that more knowledge is just good. And this is just is not true at all. The underlying premise of science and its handmaiden technology is that early humans were primitive, and we are better now, because we have antibiotics and cars, but we only need antibiotics because we live in such concentrated filth and cars kill us as bad as any large predator. The idea that us moderns are so much smarter than the indigenous is just evolutionary idiocy. Remember, the measure of survival is not abstract progress, it is adaptation. Those primitive societies lived in adaptive balance for thousands of years, while advanced society is about to smoke the whole planet in a few centuries. Who is backwards now? I'm not going to get into a noble savage debate with Indica. Um, anyway, where were we? Uh, the idea of more being better, even more knowledge, is the root of consumption and collapse. The collapse comes through technology, but it comes from science and Anglo-European philosophy. We can't just follow the science out of this predicament. Who do you think drilled all the oil and made all the plastics? Scientists. Science is precisely how we got into trouble, not the way out of it. This is hubris of this hubris of science. This little, 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 little. Okay, how many is's can we have in one sentence? This is hubris of science. Is that because we can draw things on a Cartesian plane and manipulate them? We understand them. This 
is the hubris of humanity saying, I think, therefore I am, and thus excluding most of creation from existence. Where do you think this leads? We have made 2D graphs of progress go up while obliterating the 3D Earth. We still understand this problem is just CO2, hmm, i.e. one graph, and think that by switching to renewable technology, we can continue screwing up the 800 other graphs that are also cratering. We have no concept of the whole because our science, unlike old religion and superstition, gives us all the power of gods with none of the reverence for anything above us, and so the sky burns like the wings of Icarus. It all comes from the fundamental fallacy of progress and the deep misunderstanding of adaptation. We, like the land dinosaurs, have happily lived in a world of greater and greater complexity, ignoring the little asteroids of pollution we rain upon ourselves. <clears throat> we laugh at the dinosaurs, despite them, A, not going extinct, birds, and B, having a much longer run than us. There is more time between a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus than between a T-Rex and an iPad. The dinosaurs did not screw themselves, but our even more powerful ancestors that first harnessed the sun actually did. Hence, we are not even unique in our destructive capacity. <clears throat> and here is one for colony of cells to close out. Colony of cells take a bow. <clears throat> the microbes that first captured the sun are the fossil fuels that we burn thinking all that energy just comes from our brilliance. They had to painfully learn how to rebalance the thermostat and live in adaptation to their environment, not wild-ass freedom, producing and consuming as much energy as they felt like. <clears throat> and yet, we disdain these great ancestors as dumb bacteria, rob their tombs, and call it progress. What are we doing? We completely miss the point of survival, adaptation, and in the progress make complete asteroids of ourselves. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Indica, for uh, that short history of non-progress. Uh, so anyway, now that I've gotten that doom and gloom off my chest, uh, good lord, uh, I have to go find a winter jacket for my little dog. Get out there and enjoy your progress. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.